Today I will show you how to install and use model railroad turnouts ground throw sprung right now. Hello and welcome to my channel HO Train Universe and Dioramas. I am Ashim and you are watching my model railroad. Friends, let's start our today's project but before that I have to show you something. Friends this is my Atlas Code 100 remote controlled cam manual switch but it's costly. Though I have installed few of these then I thought let's install few manual ground throws and for that I have purchased few manual ground throws and now I will show you those things. Friends I have purchased few Caboose Industries manual ground throw sprung and let me show you first this is the two points today i will install the two ground throws here and for that let me show you my pack of caboose industries ground throws let watch this is the pile of my ground throws i have already purchased five packs of this uh, manual ground throw sprungs and these are very good you can see these are the Caboose Industries ground throws here is the logo or the name Caboose Industries and in each pack you will get five sprungs and here you can see one two three four and five packs okay friends let's start with one let's me open a pack and I will fix or install a ground throw sprung in front of you let me open this pack okay this is the pack and here you can see a small manual and now let me collect one from here okay this is the ground throw it's very nice and I have to fix it here like this okay this is the lever and this is the portion what I have to fix you can see here is a small pinpoint notch I have to file it up I have to make it plain or smooth because I will use the opposite side of the throw bar and for that I need to clear the small hole the tiny hole in this side let me do that and with the help of the sharp point of my craft knife I will clear the small and tiny hole at the throw bar watch carefully how I am just cleaning and making the fresh and clean hole on the throw bar and after finishing this you can see the small or tiny space I will slip it onto the pin of the throw bar okay friends let's watch carefully that how I will fix it just I will place these things here but before that I will fix the lever in this way that means I want to push this um, switch towards the left side and then I will fix this thing and I will slip that particular tiny space on the pin of the throw bar and for that now I need to fix here a small pad so that I can fix this sprung and friends I have fixed it and now you can see this thing is ready I have glued it here just right now so I can adjust it according to my necessity and now I will slip this small hole or the gap on the pin of the throw bar like this and before that I will add a little bit adhesive at the top of the track bed piece and then also I will glue at the downside of the sprung and then first of all I will fix it towards the right side and will fix the lever according to that like this that means I am using this method if you uh, watch in various uh, channels model day loading channels you will see that they are using the middle throw portion method that means they are fixing the sprung and the switch at the middle portion and then fixing it but I am satisfied with my method it is very easy for me and it's easy to fix and calculate the portion and the position of the sprung and the switch okay friends now let's fix it and let's dry it for a couple of hours then I will return back 
and after overnight curing of the glue of my both uh, sprungs ground source sprungs you can see now it's uh, working smoothly let's uh, go for some test run and before that if you are first time my channel please subscribe my channel and push the bell icon on friends Ha <laughs> ha.